Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Group Manager for Spigot 1.9. First, let's go over to the File Manager tab and then the Plugins folder. With this plugin, it is not listed under the Plugins tab, so you're going to have to manually install it. Uh, if you have it downloaded on your computer, you can upload it directly from here, or if you have a direct link to the file as I do, you can upload it by clicking Upload File and then pasting it into the text field here. Click Upload from Web. And as soon as it's uploaded, you can go back to my server and restart. As soon as the server's been restarted, let's go back to the file manager. Click on Plugins again, and you should have a new folder called Group Manager. Click on that. Here you're going to see the config YML, the global groups YML, worlds, and backups. We're going to want to go to worlds, and you're going to see a folder for every world that you have installed on your server. In this case, we only have one, and it's called worlds, so click on that. And then you're going to find the users and the groups YML. The users YML file will show you all the users that are actually on the server and listed under here. These are the three defaults. You can add permissions or add them to certain groups, specifically through this. If you want to change this, make sure to save it. However, we're going to focus on the groups right now to setting that up. So let's click on the groups YML file. And as you can see here, there are five default groups, one being default. This is the group that new players, when joining the server, will go into by default. If you want to allow them to build, you should change build to true. And you can add any permissions to enable or disable certain commands. I'm going to leave this as default right now. As we go down to each new group, you'll see that it inherits all the permissions from the last group. So Builder inherits from default, meaning it can do everything that default can do. Moderator inherits from Builder, which means it can do everything that Builder can do, plus this. Admin inherits from Moderator. So it can also do everything that Moderator can do, and also these and so on and so forth. Owner doesn't need to inherit from anyone, but it does, as it has this permission node here. This permission node allows the owner to use any and all commands. If you'd like to switch, add, or remove any permission nodes, make sure to do so, and then click Save, and go back and restart the server once again. As soon as the server has been restarted, we're going to log into the server. And first, we're going to try to set myself as created. So let's do game mode one. And I do not have permission to do this. So now, without giving myself OP, I can use the command man you add username. And then the group you want to add them to, in this case, owner. So now I should be in the owner group. As I come back here, it says I was moved to the group owner in world. So if I use the same command, I can now change to creative mode and back again. I cannot give myself OP though, or anyone else. as OP is not really needed. So if you do need to OP yourself, you will have to do that from the console. And now I can. You can also use the man you add command in game. Let's give myself the builder group. should be able to build and destroy now, but I cannot change my game mode. As an example, I'm going to give, put myself back in the default group. Menu add Sai Kitsune, default. Now I'm going to go over to the file manager, plugins again, group manager, worlds world and go to groups so i'm going to use an essentials command here but i want to add the ability to use the set home command from essentials so in this case we're going to add 
essentials home so that they can use slash home and also the set home command slash set home before I save it let's check it out make sure set home I do not have access to that command and slash home I do not have access to that command either so let's save this restart the server and as soon as the server has been restarted we're gonna go back to Minecraft and type the slash set home command and I can now use this command slash home I can now use the slash home command as well so that is the basics of installing and setting up group manager hope you guys enjoyed